Captain America. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this experiment. Today, we are looking at a loyal subject, Captain America in Football Manager. Yeah, a little bit of a different one. Um, you can see, and I'll talk you through kind of what's the decision making behind this was. So, he has got the same birthday as he does, I say, in real life in the comic books. Um, he, he obviously is 15, though, so the, the year isn't correct, because otherwise he'd be way too old. Um, height-wise, he's six foot two, um, same height as he is normally. Uh, model citizen, as you'd expect for Captain America, and tireless midfielder seen by the media. So that's kind of the, the thought process we went for. Mentally, he's very determined, he's got great leadership, works hard for the team, uh, and very brave as well. Obviously, naturally very fit. Physicals, I didn't want to put too high because there are um, superheroes that have better abilities. Um, so are stronger, are faster and everything like that. But he's still very, very good. And naturally, he's very fit as well. Um, technicals are all seven, as I thought, a kind of a nice baseline to kind of work from. Uh, as how are we meant to really know if he's any good at football? That's... Yeah. So <laughs> that's kind of where we're at. He's at New York Red Bulls uh, just because he was from New York and... Red Bulls, I don't know. <laughs> it was a, one of the clubs that was close to him. So he's he is playing for New York Red Bulls. He's a central midfielder, so he'll be playing up and down in that middle park. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see kind of where he goes, how he develops, and, and where we go from here. So um, we will jump ahead uh, five years, see where he's at when he's 20, and go from there. Well, okay then. So he is now at Borussia Dortmund. £63 million valuation, £120,000 a week. Played 30 caps for the United States of America uh, and six goals. But question I really want to ask is, will he become ever become captain of america so we will have to see if it, he's can reach that goal um he's certainly obviously reached the goal of getting to play for america as you'd probably expect but it'll be interesting to see how that works um first goal against wales at 18 so that's quite impressive uh he he's obviously increased his technical stats quite a lot in those five years um so good marking passing tackling and technique in there leadership and determination obviously increasing along with bravery and and his physicals have all gone up as you'd expect um either footed still and very good he's, he's learned how to play right back as well which is good to see uh how did he do for new york he played very very well uh performed excellently and since he's moved to dortmund for 15 million pounds he's been playing phenomenally well for them as well so it's no real surprise really his kind of the, the stats that he had his classes are wonder kid he's a big strong boy um and certainly a player that you'd love to have in a real game obviously his technicals aren't amazing but i think the physicals and mentals are so good that the technical stats don't really matter uh they're kind of like everything else makes up for it so i thought that i think that's quite interesting um we'll jump another five see him in his prime see if the technicals do increase and kind of how the mental and physicals will be affected by kind of the latter stages of his career. Another move for him to Manchester City. Uh, now 88 caps and 15 goals for the United States of America. Um, <laughs> technical wise, more increases. I uh, can see a couple of his mental attributes have gone down slightly. And his physicals as well. Obviously not much flair because it's Captain America. He does things by the book. Uh, and he's not aggressive, is he? He's just very brave and intelligent when it comes to war um still playing being able to play right back it looks like that might be the position they're playing him in um but you can see 97 million pounds he was bought for by man city from dortmund and he's performed very well for them getting 14 13 assists in a couple of seasons so i mean he's not done bad at all uh milestones wise I, i'm not sure where to see uh the ah there it is here we go, 2025. So it was it was just after the year we saw previously that he actually was appointed the captain of America. Uh, so he is officially Captain America of Captain America's America's captain. Yeah, so he's done it. He has managed to achieve what we wanted him to achieve, uh, making 88 caps for America as well. Um, we will jump ahead another five, though. Uh, take another look, see how things have gone, uh, especially at the latter stages, see how the physicals and mentals will kind of affect his career going forward. 
Still at Manchester City then, made over 140 caps for the United States, 30 years old now. Um, you can see his, his physicals have started to decline, but still seen as a legendary midfielder. Uh, likes the ball played to feet, which makes sense because he's not exactly technically that gifted. Um, but you can tell just by looking at these stats that he is, he's been very good for them. I mean, those assists are very, very impressive for a player that isn't technically great. Um and he's won loads of stuff for Man City. He won the North American Nations League as well with the United States of America, which is nice. But, I mean, that's it's really interesting to see. I'd like to see how you'd want to implement him in a side. Um, £350,000 a week is a lot for a player with very low technicals. But, again, I guess it is just the physical and mental stats are just so good. It's worth having him in the squad either way. Uh, and if you can play him at right back, kind of out of the way... <laughs> It'd be great. Um, but we'll jump ahead again. We'll jump another few years, see where he's at then uh, in the latter stages, right near the end of retirement, I expect, uh, and, and take a look. So we can still see that he is playing at the age of 35, still a model citizen and a legendary midfielder for Manchester City. Has started to play a little bit deeper, um, which makes sense. His passing hand technique has all improved along with first touch. So they're, they're looking a lot better, a lot more, lot more viable. Um, physicals are still looking pretty good for a 35-year-old. And obviously mentals are, are solid as ever. Fantastic leadership, determination and composure in there, which is awesome to see. Now... Uh, Something we didn't take a look at is kind of, it's got all his, the correct um, place of birth. He's obviously English as well now, um, having stayed in Manchester for so long. Uh, and a New York fan as well. A star player for his country. Steve Rogers, obviously his secret name. Um, so you don't tell anyone about that. And he is very much unflappable, isn't he? He's Captain America, of course. And a very big superb amount of reputation but we can see he's continued to perform very well or consistently playing for the club not as many assists and goals so it'd be interesting it would be interesting to see kind of how he's playing for Man City now but um, he's na made nearly 500 appearances for City with 684 in his career so we'll, we'll jump again we'll, we'll see where he's at at the end of his career um, see if he's gone into any sort of management or anything like that it'll be interesting to see and, and we'll take a look Ah, so there we have it. He has ended up retiring at the age of 38 and just leaving football together. Ended up making 590 appearances and scoring 50 goals for Man City um, from that central midfield position. 140 appearances, 28 goals for America as well. Uh, and then you've got, obviously, this wide range um, of cups and, and trophies that he's won. Um, he also won the MLS Works Humanitarian of the Year, presented by Advocare. What the hell is that? <laughs> I What? Well, there you have it. He beat um, Z Zardes and Hollingshead, which I, I mean, I didn't even know that was a thing. But there you go. 17-year-old Captain America won the Humanitarian of the Year. I mean, that kind of makes sense. He's, he's obviously European golden boy. He won that as well um, with obviously lots of names. So there's there's loads of stuff there which you can obviously take a look at uh, as to kind of what he's achieved individually. But you can see 34 personal trophies and 39 team wins in his career. I mean, a very good player. It was interesting, certainly, like I mentioned throughout, that the kind of development his career had when it came to um, his technical ability because it obviously wasn't as good as you'd probably want from a player of the amount that people were playing paying for him. So interesting to see. But um, I hope you did enjoy. I thought it was quite interesting, as a, as I say multiple times throughout the video. But um, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I will catch you next time.